hello, hello. Hello, and let me know when you come on. Make sure to say hello. I'm Teresa with Teresa Renee Art, and today we are going to be doing foils and flakes uh, from Pentart. We have tons and tons and tons of products to show you, um, and we're going to go through each one of them. Make sure to say hello. Hello, Betty. Hello. Um, hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, hi, Denise. How are you? Uh, let me know. Make sure you're checking in, saying hello. Um, I'm still drinking my second cup of coffee, so I'm I'm waking up with you. Hello, Trees. Hello. So, hi, Sue. So we have uh, lots of good friends on this morning. So has your weather started warming up? It is quite warm here. It was in the 80s yesterday here in Atlanta. Um, so we are getting your tea or coffee. Hello, hello. Hi, Jana. Um, so I'm streaming uh, to five different places, you guys. So if you see me commenting or responding to someone who you don't see in the chat, they could be watching in a different place, for example. We are streaming on two separate YouTube channels. We are streaming on the Decapage and Mixed Media Inspirations group and on the Royal Court page and on the Teresa Renee Art page. I think most everybody will be watching from the Teresa Renee Art page. Um, hello, Christina. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Ronnie. Hello, Irene from Delaware. I do have a, have a couple of Facebook users this morning. So... Uh, if you um, please go to, particularly if you're on the Decapage and Mixed Media Inspirations groups, most of the time it happens there. So if you will go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook and give me permission to see your name, that would be super, super helpful. Um, just a couple of house rules. You know, we are saving these videos um, forever <laughs> as a resource for people who need to refer back to them. Um, so if you will, please hold your questions until the end. Uh, and if there is a question in the chat that you know the answer to, please allow me to repeat the question and answer it so that we can save it on the video stream for everybody to benefit from the answer. Um, we just also want to make sure everybody gets the same uh, information. Uh, we do have several retailers who carry our products. So if we have any of our retailers on right now, retailers, feel free to share your, your links and where you're, where you're at, where you're located. That would be fantastic. Hello, Betty. Hi, Jill. Hope you guys are doing great. Hi, Mel. All right. So um, let's get started. We have one hour. We're going to cover a lot of things today. I'm going to turn my camera down. I did get my new camera fixed or it's better. So hopefully this will work out. Okay. Hi, Sandy. Um, okay. So today we're going to cover, um, I need to turn this ring light off. There we go. Today we're going to cover, um, several products. We're going to cover foils. Um, they come in a few different varieties and sizes, etc. cetera. Um, and decor foils and metal foils. There's just a lot of different things to choose from. So I'm going to go through and explain the differences with those. Um, and then we're going to cover flakes. And again, we have a few different varieties of flakes. We have colored flakes and we have metal flakes. So we're going to be looking at those. Um, I'm just going to talk about each one of them first, and then I will go into a demo. Um, I can't show, I can't show every single one of them like, or color, but I will demonstrate a few of them together. Um, so I want to start with the colored flakes. Okay, so these are colored flakes. 
Um, and these are basically what these are is kind of, I think, a byproduct of the, the decor foils. So I think what happens when, during production is when they're producing these foils, sometimes the material flakes off and turns into flakes. Um, that's, that's my idea of how it happens. I could be totally wrong, but essentially these are plastic. They're, ba they're basically um, plastic based. So they do not contain any metal at all. The colored, the colored flakes do not contain metal. These are plastic based. Okay. Um, and so they come in a variety of colors. There are a couple of interesting ones here that I'll show you first. These two, this one is black and gold. And then this one is blue and gold. So I think these are interesting because these are two colors that are mixed together. Um, and then we have one that is rose gold, which looks more copper to me. Um, we have one that is pink. We have one that is blue, red. We do have a gold one and there's a purple one. So what I want to say about these is they are sold by weight. Okay. Um, there's one gram of product in each uh, in each container. So, for example, you may see, and this happens with some of the colored flakes. If the if the um, flakes get too crunchy or or they start to compact and get very fine, you know, your bottle may look like it's only that full, but there's still the same amount of product as one that has larger pieces of flakes that are that looks this full it's just fluffier in this jar as opposed to this jar so i have had some people come back and say my bottle is only half full why is that well it's because the product has sort of compacted um, but it but it has the same exact amount as the one that appears fuller <laughs> okay so i just want to be clear on that so we'll take a we will demo this in a bit these are the colored flakes to seal colored flakes since they're plastic based you can use any water-based sealer i do recommend a glossy because a matte will dull down the shine so for any types of flake products or foils you should use a glossy if you want to preserve that shine okay so that's the colored flakes Next, next, let's talk about the colored foils, which work the same way. These are these ones come in a little bit smaller size. Um, did I have a blue? These ones are a little bit smaller um, than this size, um, but they're very similar. Let's see. And this one, this one, uh, in, like the decor foils I showed you last week, um, the decor foils have a plastic backing on it. This one does not. This is like a sheet of foil product that doesn't have a plastic backing on it. I get, so this is basically like crushed up this one is crushed up this one if that makes sense okay um again this is plastic based it does not contain any metal you apply it just like you would a metal leaf type of thing and maybe we'll play with this one too thank you vincetta um okay so that's that's the colored foils Next, we move to decor foils, which is also a plastic based product. Um, there are quite a few of this. This was originally, this product here was originally intended to be used for furniture designers um, to give some more. Anything that says decor on it is meant for. You know, they're a little bit larger. It's meant for furniture des designers. Um, 
and there are several. This is the one that I showed last week that does have the plastic backing on it. So when you rub it, rub it off, um, your the sh the plastic is on, or the uh, foil effect is on, layered on top of a piece of plastic. So you would lay it down and then rub it on, and it the plastic part stays. It starts to turn clear. So this one is the um, decor foil. And these come, there are five sheets in each one. Well, this one, yeah, so there are five sheets in each one. This is also a plastic based product. So you can use a water based sealer. So essentially I'm showing you five different products, three of which you can use a water based sealer. So for the colored foils, the decor foils, and the colored flakes, you would seal these with a water-based product. And they all give a very shiny um, effect at the end. This comes in a lot of colors. One thing I wanted to show you on these, there are a couple of them that are really, really cool that have like holographic effect like for example uh these two um this one has like little stars on it this one is um hologram galaxy code number 20479 so this one would be cool like for um kids room unicorns or halloween or something like that so holograph holographic effects this one is like holographic glitter there are several more with the little holographic effects. I think those are super, super cool. Um, and then we have one. This one is like a gold holographic effect, which I really love. I think that's super cool. Um, and then this one is a silver holograph. holograph. So it's like got the iridescent um thing to it so that you could do a lot with that i think that's really really cool in fact uh, now that i see it i want to demo that today <laughs> okay so these are the decor foils um next up we have metal leaf products and i i worked with on my demo last week you will see you saw that i did do metal leaf on my demo last week um trying to see if i can get one that has the gold showing um let's see this is gold but i used it so the one in the window isn't showing uh, we have gold we have copper we have silver and then we have a couple of um two that are like variegated colors they have um uh like some blues and other really pretty colors inside like this one this is the variegated one so this is very v001 i showed you that this last week with the egg so that's like variegated colors really really beautiful um so these are the metal leaf ones now these i explained a little bit last week on these that you do need to have a solvent based sealer because they contain metal what will happen over time is the metal content if you use a water-based sealer the metal content on these will will begin to oxidize so in order to seal this properly you would want to use a solvent based sealer preferably again a glossy um, all right, and then we have, I don't know if you guys even know this, but we have like 10 different colors of metal flakes. So do I have them all? I'm not sure if I do. I tried to grab them all. Um, let's see, we have, and these are numbered. So we've got M3, we have M1, M4, M5, 
M2, M6, M8, and M10. And I think I'm missing the plain gold because I have I just have it at home. Um, okay, so I'm not just gonna that. No. All right, so we have um, some different combinations of the metal flakes. This one is silver and copper, which is super pretty. We have gold and blue. This one is really, really gorgeous. Uh, I, I love the way this one comes out. It's got, um, it's kind of like the crushed up variegated. It's really, really pretty. Um, then we have one that is gold, silver, and copper. And then we have one that is um, gold and copper. And we have one that's just copper. Um, we do have one that is uh, gold and silver. We have one that is just gold. That's M7. We have one that is just silver. And we have one that is, um, it's like uh, blue, copper, and gold. Yeah, blue, copper, and gold. Um, this one I think is one of my favorites, number M2. This is gold and blue. I just think that one is so pretty. So tons and tons of flakes also to choose from. So again, the flakes are going to be, um, these do contain metal. So in order to seal them, you would need a solvent-based sealer. Okay, I'm going to put these to the side, and I'm just going to do, um, and I, I don't even know if I'm going to open all of them, you know, every single, there's five different products that I showed you. I don't know if I'm going to even use all five, but I did want to play a little bit today and do sort of a more playful demo. So I'm going to let you guys decide what we do here and then if we have time we may do a second one slightly differently so i have this stencil this is um like have you guys ever seen banksy banksy's artwork banksy uses um he's a street artist and he goes all over the world nobody knows his real identity but um he does like graffiti with stencils well, I went to one of his show, one, you know, a show. It's not wasn't like authorized by him. Um, but I went, I did go to a show, and then afterwards I kind of became a little bit obsessed with some of his stencil work. So I bought this stencil. This is one of his designs. <laughs> and it's the little girl, and she's reaching up, and there's a little heart balloon. Um, so what I thought I would do is color pretty much this whole thing with um with foils for the background and then red uh red colored foil for her heart and then i'm going to use black and gold um deluxe paste for the body here so i want to do the background first and then i had a couple of options of thing i things i was thinking for the background um and i'm going to let you guys vote so I was thinking of um, uh, the gold and silver metal for the background, or I was thinking um, the gold hologram, or the silver hologram. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys vote what you want. For the background so number one if you're voting number one it's gold and silver flakes if you're voting number two it's the gold hologram and if you're voting number three it's the um silver hologram so you guys can go ahead and vote pick your choices one two so one two or three all right we have we have we've got votes coming in we're tied on one and two two is in the lead right now 
We have one vote for three. Two is in the lead. So again, it's one, two, and three. Right now we have four votes for two. We have five votes for two. Looks like it's going to be two. All right, you guys, we're going to go with two. All right, so we're going to go with the gold hologram. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to begin by um, taking some of my decor glue tacky. I really, really hope this works. I haven't tried this before, you guys. So I really hope it works out just fine. I think it will. <laughs> if it's a fail, we'll try something else to do our demo. But I just thought we could sort of do our demo today by doing a fun project. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get, this is the decor glue tacky and I explained last week. This is the glue that I pretty much exclusively use for foil. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply this. Now, if I was being smart about it, I would have painted the whole thing first. Uh-oh, what happened here? I just made a big mess, didn't I? I, uh, I dumped it out, you guys. That was not fun. Let's see. Let's see if I can fix it. Wow. That was insane. I just dumped the whole thing out on my um, canvas. Goodness gracious. Well... Okay. That's what I get for doing this at 10 a.m. When my coffee is still um, working. Okay. No problemo. No problem. I was like, I, I looked up, I saw this big puddle. Well, at least I didn't get it on my girl. I wanted, I didn't want to get it on that part. Okay. All right. Decor glue tacky for days, you guys. All right. So let's keep going. We're not going to let a little snafu ruin our day. All right. We'll keep going here. And with the bigger areas, I'm just using a larger brush. And I'm not gonna get too much into the girl because I'm remember I'm gonna do her. Uh, I want a little bit in here, but not too much. Uh, I'm gonna do her with um, the uh, deluxe paste. So I'm gonna come in and take a uh, detail brush and sort of do her outline. All right. So I'm just painting, painting it on. And Yvette um, sent me a note the other day. She had an awesome suggestion that, and maybe I'll pass it a lot, this along to Pentart, that they should make this like colored so you know where you've painted. And then um, you can, uh, you can and then it dry and then have it dry clear when it's dry so that you can always know okay all right now i'm going to get a smaller brush with a finer edge and I pulled out my glasses to bring over i do this every week you guys i see my glasses and i think oh I need to get those for my life and then I forget to bring them over and then I don't remember where I saw them. So anyway, that happens. That's okay. All right. So I'm just going to kind of go around. Um, and I took a pencil. I traced the outline of the stencil inside. 
some parts are going to be covered in gold leaf and some aren't. But if I don't do this exactly correct, it's okay because my um, once I lay the stencil back over it with the uh, deluxe paste, um, it's going to cover up what it needs to. Okay, so you paint it on or apply it. And then you wait for it to dry. So it's not ready to use until it's dry. All right. I didn't want to get any on the heart yet. Um, So I'm going to try to be really careful when I cover that area. I'm going to do the heart separately after I get the gold applied. But I do have this little drop here that came up. No, I, okay, now I, I have tacky glue all over me and somehow I have long pieces of hair that are now stuck in my tacky glue. Golly, you guys. It's like the pent art demo fails this morning. All right. But we just keep plowing through with a smile on our face. All right. I got chunks of tacky glue everywhere. I got tacky glue on the back of my canvas. Tacky glue all over my hands. All right. So I think we're good to go here. Um, trying to just kind of turn it to see if I missed any spots. Okay. What? You know, I did that on purpose because I can't have anybody thinking that I um that I don't ever have any epic fails. <laughs> I definitely do. As you as you have seen. <laughs> All right. Clean that up with a baby wipe. I got hair I have like hairballs. I think it's from my cat. Like I have hairballs sticking to me everywhere. So if you ever get one of my projects and there's hairballs in it, that's just a bonus. That means my cat participated in the uh, in the artwork. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get my hair dryer. And we're gonna dry. All right, you guys, I will be uh, I will be live again on Thursday on Pintart. Um, I am actually going to be doing something kind of fun and different this time. I'm going to be doing a mixed media canvas. So that will be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to be doing like a collage layered canvas and then with a um 
a uh, summertime or spring flowers or something on it. <laughs> I know. This is the blooper edition. So I'm watching very closely because it appears that I have now a bee flying around my craft room. Um, trying not to panic. I don't see him now, but uh, I'm hoping that he ignores me. Whew. Nothing like getting your blood pumping this morning, y'all. Goodness gracious. All right. So it needs to be good and dry. Uh, when it is dry, it will... <laughs> I know there's a there is a bee in here somewhere. It's not a wasp though. It's a regular bee. I just want to try to I want to try to usher him outside. I don't want to kill it. It's like goodness gracious. But you know what? If I get stung by that bee, I'm gonna power through. Y'all. All right. All right. That feels pretty good to me maybe a little more let's do a little bit more <laughs> Dina it's like a zoo over here it's been great <laughs> I, I just know he's going to land on my leg and sting me while I'm drying. My coffee is going to go everywhere. Oh, there you go, Sue. I'm going to trap him with tacky glue. <laughs> I just need to hold up my hand. Trap him in tacky glue in here. All right. So let's do this. This is the decor foil. This is the gold hologram. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to press it down. And let's see. Let's see what happens. Let me grab a um, tool. I'm gonna try to burnish this in. Ideally, for um, foils, you would want it on a very smooth surface. Um, the canvas is probably a little rough, but we're gonna work with what we have here. And I'm just using a burnishing tool. This is like a bone folder. All right. And that's leaving behind some pretty good color. What I may do is now try to go in um, behind it and layer in some of these flakes. Let's see if these stick anywhere. 
so we can sort of mix and match it too. That's going to be very, very pretty, you guys. Um, so I'm using a combination here of the foils and the flakes. I don't want any on my heart. Like places where there's just like a little gap, I can come in now with the foils, sort of fill in. Because this canvas is just a little bit too rough to get a very smooth. I figured it's been a minute since I've done like a little project with you guys. So I wanted to do something a little bit more experimental and interesting this time. Um, rather than just doing them on little demo boards. So hopefully um, you guys can get the, uh, get a better idea of how you might actually put some of these like use some of these in your artwork but sometimes when we experiment you have to um that's just it you have to improvise All right, so there is two sheets. Do here. I'm going to cut this one. Actually, I don't have to. I'm going to just put it right here. Get some down here. And the parts that don't have tacky glue are not getting anything left behind on them.
All right, so this way, trying to kind of maximize my coverage area here. This might take all five sheets. So ideally, you know, if I was being really smart, I would have painted this gold ahead of time um, so that all the areas kind of like what we did with the velvet powder you know so that any areas that show through uh, so if I were to repeat a project like this that is definitely what I would do I would paint it the base color ahead of time um, So that if you get if you're left behind with some, um, that's going to do two things. It's going to kind of help smooth out the surface, and then it's also going to help you with some of the white areas that are showing through. We can even come in behind it and touch some things up too with some paint as well. Area here. So this is like the closest thing we have to a transfer foil. Um, all of the other ones are more uh, like the foil is what crumples and stays behind. Okay, so now I'm going to continue working with some of my flakes. Try to layer those in here and there. And I'm just taking a soft brush and working those in. And it's sticking because in some of the areas, there's still some glue showing through. Thank you. 
No, you have to burnish it down with the sheets, Betty. A brush would not do anything. It would just brush over it. You have to use something hard to like um, rub it, rub the texture out. I did read that these work better on a very smooth, a much like a smoother surface, the foil sheet, um, but I ignored it as I sometimes do. Because originally I was just going to do foil, gold foil on here anyway. Um, but I really wanted to try those uh, hologram sheets. So now we get the best of both worlds. All right, a little bit more. Yeah, it's actually really pretty. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but it is very pretty. Here. My daughter has a performance today, you guys. She is in her first play. She did drama um, at school this year, and so they've been working this last part of the school year on, um, on their school play. So she is actually in a play this afternoon. We're very excited to go see her. My daughter, Elizabeth. Now, one thing that's important is you don't want to sneeze or anything when you have gold flakes out because they will get everywhere. Okay. So I'm just trying to kind of cover up anything that didn't get covered on the first round and going over it with my brush until it's sort of smooth and not sticking anymore. Um, I think this is a super fun background. Um, I have actually seen some artists, I was in, um, North Carolina in Asheville and I came across an artist who gold leaves his whole panel first before he starts painting. Um, so I thought that was a super fun te technique. I can't remember his name, otherwise I'd share it with you, but that's sort of what that idea is sort of what inspired me to do this one. Um, and so who knows, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try some paintings over gold leaf at some point in the future, but it leaves like a very, uh, um, iridescent feel behind. So if I were going to do this again, what I would do is I would paint the areas first and I would probably have used um, my uh, metals, the metal pigments with pigment fix, and I probably would have painted it first in gold and then applied the, the holographic gold 
And I bet if I did that, I wouldn't have needed to do this extra foiling on top. Okay. So can you guys see that? I think it's really, really pretty. My camera is a little bit bright here. I'm gonna, um, bear with me. I'm gonna try to adjust my camera real fast. Tell me if this is better or not. Does that look better or about the same? Let me know. All right, Lori, see you later. Yeah, I think it's better too. All right. So I have an entire beautiful textured canvas that I now I now need to actually when I seal this I need to seal it with the the solvent based sealer because I have used metal flakes. If I had stuck with the holograph the holo holographic um, I would not need to use the solvent based. All right, so I'm going to um, switch it up now. I'm actually going to switch to glaze and crystal paste and deluxe paste to finish this. I was originally going to do gold foil on this um, part here, but I've decided not to because I don't want to get all that red, any red foils mixed in with my gold here so I want to keep it very clean so I am going to switch to a different product to color in my stenciled images and I do think that you kind of needed for this particular design I do think that you kind of needed to do something a little bit dramatic with the background because otherwise the background would have been quite boring so I'm I'm happy with with what we have here. Okay, so let me grab um, glaze paste, crystal, and then I want black deluxe paste. Black deluxe paste for her body. Um, I can find deluxe paste. Well, I haven't seen the um, the bee, so I, hopefully the bee took off. I don't know where he went. So first, I'm actually going to paint this heart with red because I want the red to show through. So really what I wanted to show you guys is like how you can incorporate some of these products. It doesn't have to be the only thing we do, but I did want to show you how you would incorporate some of these products into your media artwork. Uh, I use foils all the time, you guys. So I'm, I do use them a lot. After we're done with this, maybe we'll do a couple more examples with um, 
putting them on some molds, depending on how much time we have. I'm going to paint this heart red. My red metallic paint. Here it is. Paint my heart red. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the stem quite yet. But I just want, because I'm going to be using um, glaze paste, and I do want this base to come through. I'm not going to paint her black just because that glaze, the um, deluxe paste is quite, it does have very, very good coverage. There's that. Let me dry. <laughs> We're doing a little Banksy stencil. I'm going to get metal flakes in my coffee. I'll let you guys decide for the heart if you want to do the glaze paste in red or if you want to do the crystal paste. So the difference is the crystal paste is going to be very glittery. So it's going to be a glittery heart or the glaze paste is going to be a very shiny, shiny like enamel heart. So let me know if you want crystal or glaze in the heart. You guys can decide. Glaze. We've got two votes for glaze. Three votes for glaze. I think glaze. I, I think thinking glaze. Okay, here's my, not dry enough, I think so. All right, so here's my um, stencil. And I'm just trying to line up the girl with where I outlined it. I think that's pretty good. I knew I was gonna have some overlap, but that's okay. And I can paint any areas that need touch up. I can paint with gold paint or black paint or red paint um, to make it look really seamless. All right, so first I'm gonna do, let's do this first. Let's do the glaze paste over the heart first. Now keep in mind on the glaze paste, um, it is actually going to look milky and then it will dry a very beautiful solid red color. But for right now, when I pull it off, it's going to look very milky, which is fine. Okay. All 
I'm going to be very careful not to move it. And now let's switch to our black. This is going to be the black deluxe paste. So I just, I wanted to show you kind of how you could use these, you know, uh, it's a little outside the box, right? Like, so we're using it with a stencil um, to create a beautiful layered mixed media scene. And then we're using a couple products with it to create a finished piece. So if I, if I had wanted to use the foils through the stencil, I would have used um, the glue paste. Okay, so let's pull this off and see what we have. I think that is super, super pretty. You guys, that looks like it belongs in a museum. Let me, um, and again, that's going to dry. Maybe I'll hit it with a little bit of a dryer so you can sort of see it. But that's why I went in with the gold a little bit in her body was because I did have some areas that were going to be gold. Isn't that, isn't that cool? I love it. I'm so happy with that. So you can definitely layer other products over these. Just remember, you know, the whole thing needs to have a solvent based sealer on it now. Let me clean my stencil here. Hopefully that bee doesn't come and land in her. So what else do you guys want to see? You want to see anything else? I am going to hit that with a dryer and let's try to get that beautiful red with the glaze paste. If you haven't used glaze paste before, um, I do want to try to dry this so you can see what it looks like. It is really quite spectacular. So is the crystal paste, but, and then of course the black deluxe paste is to die for. But today is not the, um, the demo for glaze paste. Do you guys want to see any other foils? I probably could. I'm not sure it's going to need it though. What other foils do you want to look at? Let's see if I can get that part dry enough so that you can see some of the enamel. So if you haven't heard, um, <laughs> how about blue foils and flakes? Okay, sure. We can do we can do the blue foils and flakes. If you haven't um, heard of Banksy, Stephen Banksy. He's the artist, he's like a street artist who does graffiti all over the place. And what happens, he's so popular that whenever he does graffiti on a building, uh, the value of the building significantly 
increases because he's got his artwork on there. Um, nobody really knows who he is, but I, I went to a, um, like an unauthorized exhibit of some of his work. And this was one of the pieces that was on there. Oh, Christina, I'm so happy you bought it. That's awesome. I hope you like enjoy doing it. Are you going to do it with Terry? Um, so yeah, so Banksy, um, he's the one, he had a piece that sold at auction and it sold, I mean, I was like, I think it sold for like a million dollars or something really, really ri ridiculous. And as soon as it, um, the bell rang to close out the auction, there was like a built-in shredder inside the artwork and the artwork just went through the shredder. So he does, he's like a prankster. So he does stuff like that. Um, all right, so this is gonna take a little bit longer to dry, but I, you can still, you can start to see some of the enamel effect of that heart coming through. Um, so anyway, very pretty, you guys. I'm, I, I'm really loving how that came out. Okay, let's play with the blue foils and the blue flakes. This is at the request of um, Dina. Let's get a, uh, let's see, what do we wanna do here? Get a, uh, Let's find us a little base or something. How about a tag? Let's do a tag. Let's do. What if we did? Um, let's do a tie. What if we did it like, what, what if we did some decoupage? Let's do it on a little piece of decoupage. Yeah. Oh, I know. Let's do this. Let's get it. Um, let's get our little owl and then Will that fit? Let me get a bigger. Actually, let's do this guy and then we'll put it, we'll put the blue around the edges. Let's put the blue around the edges of this one. We'll frame it out with the blue. And we'll use, um, we'll use the blue flake this time. And maybe we'll put a little bit in his uh, tail. We could put a little bit of the gold in his crown. What do you guys want? Do you want the owl or do you want the bird? You guys can let me know if you want the owl or the bird. Owl, bird, bird, got two for bird. So we're going to use the colored, the blue colored flakes. Owl. All right, we have more votes for owl. So let's do owl. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my decoupage medium. 
I'm going to get him on here. Let's get him on here. This is just a little five by seven canvas. I'm going to get him on here. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to blend out the edges with some paint first. So let me dry this and then I'll blend out the edges a little bit. Is what we could do, we could use a little bit of the rose, the rose gold flakes too, because his crown is a little bit rose gold. So we can sort of play with both of these. These are the colored flakes. I'm going to take um, a little bit of paint and blend out these edges a little bit. I can't remember the colors that I originally used in that painting, but we'll come up with something. I think it was this one, maybe. What I really should do when I paint things is I should write down what colors I'm using. That one looks pretty close. This is the um, turquoise green decor paint. So I'm just trying to extend my edge here. because I have a border around him that needs to now be softened. So if you want to know what color goes perfectly with the owl, this is the turquoise green decor paint. And that's looking really nice. Let's get a little bit of this one. It might be, huh? I'm on still. Be done in about 15 minutes. Huh? Okay. All right. All 
All right, now let's take our blue. Or to come in and darken that up a little bit. All along the edges. And I'm not going to do the flakes all the way around. I just want it to sort of, I just want it here and there, you know. This color is indigo. Indigo. Okay. So we've sort of now extended the image with a little bit of paint and blending. Too hard of an edge there. Okay. All right. Now let's dry this. We'll add a little bit of decor glue tacky strategically. Sorry about that. Oops. All right, Dina, I know you, okay, I know you said blue flakes, but what if we use this one? This is the the blue and gold, because I'm thinking the blue on its own might be too strong, but the blue and gold might be nice. So you guys let me know if you want plain blue or blue and gold. I'm fine either way. And we're going to take our decor glue tacky and... Yeah, I think blue and gold. Um, so I'm going to take my decor glue tacky and I'm just with a very fine brush, I'm just going to 
paint a few areas in the crown. I'm not trying to hit everywhere. I just want a couple little areas. Um, and then I'm going to grab a couple little areas along the sides here as well. To help kind of frame it out. And we can add more if we feel like we need to. Now I'm going to dry it. Thank you, Annette. Blue only. Someone said blue only. Blue only would be too bold. Yeah, I think so. It would have worked for the other bird because there's more of that blue in this bird. But I don't think it works for this one because of all the green that's in it. We could also do the um, the black and gold would be kind of pretty, but I think let's do the blue and gold. All right, now I'm drying the tacky. It won't take very long to dry. All right, let's hit the rose bowl first. Mm -hmm. I need to wipe my fingers with some. All right, so we're going to do the rose gold first. And I'm going to try to isolate it just on the crown part. I'm not wiping, I'm not going to wipe it away yet because I don't want it to stick to anywhere else. I might have a little problem here. Yeah, that's okay. Um, all right, now let me get my blue and gold out. So it's like just taking sort of a basic decoupage and now we're just trying to elevate it a little bit to the next just try to give it a little bit more elegance and the other one was a basic stencil and we just we really made it a beautiful it, it looked like we spent hours on that Dental piece, right? So you can really add, just really elevate the look of some of your pieces with some simple techniques. Now, they, both of these are the plastic ones. Remember, if it doesn't say metal in it, like these are just the colored foils. Um, so I can just use the regular glossy um, water-based sealer over the tops of these. All right. Now, let me dust this off. Let's see what we have. Yes, for sure. It's a little bit messy, but it's worth it, right? All right, let's dust this off. See what we have.
So I'm just taking a soft brush. You want to make sure if you do, if you decoupage, make sure your decoupage glue is really dry because it, it can stick behind um, onto the decoupage glue. So here's what we have. I think that's very classy and elegant and not too overpowering. And it looks very intentional. So I just put a couple strategic spots in the crown and then a few places along the outside. And it's really pretty. It looks like a painting. So you could totally just frame this and be done with it. So in order to seal it, I would just use a regular glossy base varnish. I would probably spend a little more time dusting off these flakes. And you can put these flakes back in the jar. So if you've got like a little catcher or something, you can totally put them back in the jar. So yeah, so that's really pretty. This is the gold and blue. And then I used the rose gold in the crown. And I just hit a couple of spots. I didn't even do the whole crown. I just hit a few places. Um, so that's a good example of the colored flakes. You guys, we are out of time. We have gone an hour and a half. Um, but I could, I, I could spend so much more time making artwork with these flakes. I just love them. I don't think that they get enough appreciation. Um, there are tons and tons to choose from. And as you see, they're super easy to use. Yes, they are a little bit messy, <laughs> but they're fun, right? So you guys, um, thank you for joining me. I'm going to switch back over. Uh, again, I will be live again on Thursday on um, Pentart. We're going to be doing something kind of fun and different, a totally different type of piece for me. We're going to be doing um, a collage, like a mixed media spring collage painting, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then next week, we're going to be back with something else. I don't know what. <laughs> But I will see you back next week on Saturday if I don't see you on Thursday. I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you for joining me. And before I go, any questions? I did promise that that I would do Q&A at the end. So do we have any questions about these products? And, you know, I need to, I probably need to change things around. I'm getting so many questions about Crackle. Um, and I don't know when we have Crackle scheduled for, but I think we need to push that up. Uh, Yvette has sent me the schedule for June, for June, and it doesn't look like we're covering Crackle in June. So I think I'm going to switch things around and do Crackle in June. But do you have any questions at all about the foils or the flakes? When to use solvent base? When not to use solvent base? Um, how do you know when the tacky glue is ready to use? It goes on white and then it dries clear. Um, but if you feel, if you touch it and it's tacky and no glue comes up, then it's, it's ready. It does dry pretty fast. So will they ever produce larger sizes? The larger sizes of these foils? Um, 
of which product, Deborah? Which product do you want larger sizes of? Because um, we can always, if there's something that there's a demand for larger sizes, my team knows that I will, I will pass that message along. Um, fix it, fix it. Oh, pigment fix. Um, I don't think so because. Would you brush on? Yes, you would brush on varnish over the foils. But as far as pigment fix, I don't think so because that product, once it hits the air, it does start to dry out pretty fast. Yeah, so I would not, I wouldn't recommend, even if they did have a larger size of it, I would not recommend getting it. Um, I think, because once you open that bottle, you need to use it pretty fast. Otherwise, it will dry out. Uh, do they have, oh, they do have... 230, yeah, so I didn't get the 230 milliliter, Jill, just because of that reason. So if there, if somebody does want the larger size, please ask your retailer and we can get that in for them. Okay, you guys, uh, what, yes, I would use a brush to varnish over the foils, definitely. Um, any other questions, you guys? Well, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you have a great week. I've got to go do my daughter's hair for her play. Yep. Cover the top with plastic wrap for sure. You should do that with any product that ha that's paste or paint or anything. Okay, you guys. Have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.